poem. For the real Protestants, please stand up. Agitate, agitate, awaken from being shaken. Into deception must I mention, true Protestants make up the holy and peculiar remnant. For God had established with her an everlasting covenant. His bride unspotted, unblemished, holy and pure. God is seeking to make us ready, our calling and election, sure. What if I told you, in order to give a certain trumpet sound, we need to live and teach victory over sin, to fight daily on our knees, and let no one steal our crown? Do we have fire burning within us to truly proclaim the three angels' messages to set the example and not to blaspheme? God's name. It would be a shame to compromise and side where the majority takes honor and pride. In trampling God's law, especially in the fourth commandment, that distinguishes him as our creator, of him we must represent. From Abel to Noah, from Moses to Elijah, the patriarchs, prophets, and apostles these were faithful Protestants in their era. Even John Huss, Wigley, Martin Luther, Lefebvre, and Calvin, who stood unwavered and conquered through shame, turmoil, and persecution. Must I mention the King of Kings and Lord of Lords? Jesus Christ, a true Protestant, was full of courage and not a coward. May God help us to be ready when we too will need to defend our faith, to stand through the Holy Spirit that we may meet our Lord face to face. Our prayer should be, Lord help me daily that I may love you in word and deed. The Lord is seeking men and women who are truly seeking the kingdom of heaven, for this is his greatest need.